Hi YouTube. It's Lady Ravenstorm. Um, I'm laughing because <laughs> this is um, the second time I've recorded this video. I've recorded several videos today and um, now I'm using my laptop. I don't know if this is going to turn out better. I hope so. Okay, so here we go. All right, so 2017 has come to a close, and I am celebrating that. <laughs> uh, just like many um, that I've heard from, um, their 2017 really wasn't so great. And um, I can definitely say mine was um, more than challenging. And... Um, and I'm so looking forward to 2018. Um, I wrote some stuff down because I can't remember everything. And um, some, some things that happened in my life in um, 2017, good and bad. Um, the first thing, um, I left my husband, um, and uh, I actually put stuff out there that really I should have kept to myself, I believe, um, and I did it a lot on this channel. I needed um, someone to talk to, and you guys were there. I want to thank you for listening. Um, but, uh, again, um, I have gone through a lot this year and it has gotten better, um, the last few months. Um, I'm finally starting to stabilize on finances and, um, hopefully within the next year or so. I will have a place of my own and um, and I know um, that my my car has given me a lot of problems <laughs> um, but hopefully I've straightened out most of the major issues um, the other thing is um, I've grown um, spiritually. My, um, whew, I had stopped practicing for quite some time, quite some time, and um, and really this year um, has opened my eyes more to my path. And, um, to the point that now I did get some help. Um, <laughs> I had a matron patron reading with Arwen and, um, she sort of pointed me in directions of four different goddesses and, um, and then just over the last, I don't know, 30 to 45 days, maybe, um, I've gotten like signs and different things and um, it's been wonderful. The um, My goddess um, has shown herself to me and um, th that would be Artemis and um, you know, I connect. I can't, I know I can connect, um, completely with Artemis. Um, and, um, the second one that seems to keep peeking her head, um, around is Aphrodite. So, um, we'll see how all this goes. Um, but, uh, it's been very enlightening. Um, like I said, over the last, 
the last 30 days especially, there's been a lot of, um, I don't know how to say it. Deity has um, definitely shown herself. Um, I'm also, um, what I'm looking forward to now in 2018 <laughs> is um, um, I start at the American College of Healthcare Sciences. Um, and I start actually January 8th. Um, I'm so excited, uh, to be able to do this and, um, I'm actually going into, uh, their master herbalist, um, course. And, um, so I hope to be able to share some of those moments with you. Um, maybe while I'm learning, I can teach at the same time. So, um, um, I'm sorry, I keep going back and forth. 2017. Okay, one of my um, my biggest oh something that I had to work on the most. Okay, was shadow work, lots and lots, and sometimes you know. Uh, when it comes to shadow work, it can't just be you and some candles and your deities. Um, sometimes you need professionals to come in. And um, I had those. I still have those. And um, I'm just now saying it because I got very offended and very upset um, when several, um, several people in the pagan, not just the pagan community, but, or the witch, witchcraft community, but the YouTube as a whole community, um, they came forward, um, in order to help another individual or to ask for help. Um, about their anxiety, depression, bipolar, PTSD, what, whatever your symptoms. And it was received um, very negatively. There was a lot of backlash, okay? And um, I was so disappointed in that. Um, so that's my little bit. That's my rant, sort of. Um, I don't want to go too far with it. Um, it's just one of those don't get me started sort of things. But anyway, we're going to move on. Um, let's see. I also, in 2017, I restarted for the third time um, a year and a day again. Okay. Um, and yes, I've done two year and a days, and now this is my third. Um, but this one's different. Um, I'm sorry, this is shaking, but I'm actually sitting on my bed recording this, so it's a little wobbly. Anyway, um, I did this one. First off, I'm solitary now. I'm not... So before, um, part of it was done with a coven on the first one. And then, um, I did not complete, I should have worded that different earlier. I didn't complete the second year in a day. Um, I started it, got about two, three months in or three months and could, I was like, you know what? I already know all this stuff. I'm not going to do it. Well, now I'm looking at it differently. Even though I will complete the books that I have on a year and a day, which me, I'm doing this one again, you know, which is the, um, the Timothy Roderick year and a day Wicca. Um, and it's been, it's marked, it's, 
it's been it's been used okay um, still not in bad shape I don't think but I try to take care of most of my books um, but of course I have that and then I have his second year in a day the reason that I'm doing both before Samhain of 2018 is because I'm rededicating myself and I am doing a dedication to Artemis. So, um, I do practice um, many Wiccan um, traditions in my own um I guess my own tradition. <laughs> um, I don't consider myself 100% Wiccan, though, if that makes any sense. So anyway, I'm eclectic. I go with different pantheons, and I can be all over the place. Okay. Um, some hoodoo and uh, different types of witchcraft. So, but anyway... The reason that I'm doing it this way is because I do know most of, I, okay, I know everything in this, all right, and I'm sure I know the majority of the second one, but it doesn't hurt to review, again, um, and to maybe put yourself into that um, initiate phase, you know, every once in a while no matter how many years um, you've been practicing. So, also, I can do a month or more <laughs> of the book in less than a week. So, um, I will make it through all of that. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm looking at it differently, different set of eyes, um, different view of the world, different view of my spirituality completely so um, I may share some some things like that also um, one of the new things for 2018 will be um, that I do more YouTube channels uh, more YouTube I should say post more videos and um, um, that I'm, I learned to accept myself. I've solely been doing that towards these uh, last couple months, um, accepting myself as I am, as who I am. Um, and for a long time, um, I lost myself. I, I really, I looked in the mirror one day and I was like, I. I didn't know the person staring back at me, um, and I know I wasn't the only one seeing it. Um, my husband commented, my children commented, and even my mother now, when my mother did it, it sort of opened my eyes a bit more, and I was like, uh, yeah, something's got to give here, you know? So, um... That's one of the things. Also, um, some self-care, some self-love. Um, part of the self-care, of course, is to learn to accept myself. Um, but uh, the self-care is saying, you know, it's okay to feel that way. It really is. Like, um, sometimes I think things or feel certain ways and I think it's wrong, you know, I sh shouldn't, shouldn't think like that, I shouldn't feel that way. Well, you know what? It's okay in that, in that moment to feel what you're feeling. And I have to accept that. Um, the other thing is to take better care of myself, period whether it be 
uh, a weekly bubble bath <laughs> or um, uh, just it, go out every once in a while and and enjoy what the world has to offer. So um, that's one of the things I'm doing. The other thing is um, now I've heard I heard Arwen mention um, her word of the year um, last year and then now she's got a new one for 2018 um, and I didn't think much about it okay well then I see two more videos by one was Bridget's well and the other one was um, the story which Jessica Starr and um, they were talking about a word of the year. And I thought, why not? You know, um, I don't usually do, you know, resolutions or anything like that. Um, I make plans. I don't even want to call them goals, you know. <laughs> so, um, but... So my word of the year is communication and how I came to that was I actually ask my cards, my Oracle cards. Now I use, um, wisdom of the hidden realms and, um, I connect very well with these Oracle cards. Um, and the card I drew was the word Lord. And um, it has to do with communication, praise, dishonesty. Um, the dishonesty part is if he comes up as your challenger. But um, he did not. So, um, and by communication, it is communicating in all things and listening to yourself before you speak the words. Um, because you want to, just like if you're doing a really good spell, you know, you got it all set out and all of a sudden you read it over before you're going to start and you're like, Oh, wait a minute. If I say it like that, this could happen or whatever. So you need to make sure you're specific because your words come back to you. So that's what I get from this card. And so my word for 2018 is communication. Here's to 2018 being um, a wonderful, prosperous, um, talkative, year for me and everyone else. And as always, blessed be.